Can African countries pick alliances that they really want without Western intervention? Though many continue to strive for Western acceptance, Burkina Faso has surpassed expectations. Burkina Faso is not just fortifying its connections with Russia, as it did previously, in defiance of Western admonitions. The reason why Burkina Faso appears unmoved by Western warnings has been revealed by a new initiative. It appears that the waiting game has ended after an unexpected deal was in the works between Russia and Burkina Faso. For years, Burkina Faso has been fighting insurgents who have ties to the Islamic State and Al-Qaeda. Millions of people have been forced to flee as a result of militants seizing vast tracts of territory. The departure of French forces last year was widely hailed by the populace, who claimed that the military had failed to suppress the insurrection. The recent Russian force deployment in the Sahelian nation has elicited conflicting responses. How will the West react to these new plans? And what are these plans? Let's investigate. It seems like a pipe dream to envision an Africa in which countries bravely select their alliances, unapologetically directing their destinies free from the weight of historical colonial relationships. A continent that pushes past cultural influences aside and forms alliances based on respect and common goals. Burkina Faso recently took a bold step forward by attending the Army Forum 2024 in Moscow. Under the direction of Defense Minister Kasim Koulibaly, this strategic choice signaled a break from conventional Western alliances and a move toward cooperation with Russia. In an interview with a Russian state-run network, Minister Koulibaly emphasized Burkina Faso's advancement in counterinsurgencies and the country's strengthening ties with Russia. Minister Koulibaly made news on August 17, 2024, when he delivered a statement that went much beyond Burkina Faso's boundaries. He declared that his country wanted to strengthen its ties with Russia, but he included a crucial disclaimer. Burkina Faso would set the parameters of this partnership. Burkina Faso would not allow foreign soldiers to fight its wars. The nation would safeguard its future, and outside assistance would be directed only toward providing its armed forces with the necessary training and equipment. This cooperation is more than a mere diplomatic alignment. In Africa's pursuit of true sovereignty and independence, it is a brave move. A number of questions come to mind as we examine Burkina Faso's audacious new course. Why was this strategic change made? What impact does it have on the dynamics of Burkina Faso's internal security and its connections with the West? Above all, what are the takeaways from this momentous decision for other African countries? First, let's discuss why Burkina Faso chose to deepen its relations with Russia rather than sticking to its long-standing partnerships with Western nations like France. Burkina Faso's determination to forge closer ties with Russia can be attributed to its desire for alliances that uphold mutual respect and further its national interests. Burkina Faso and many other African countries have been embroiled in alliances with Western powers, especially France, for many years that have benefited the latter more than the former. Add your voice to the total liberation of Africa by dropping a comment in the comments section below. Do not forget to like and subscribe to this channel for more informative videos like this one. Let's proceed. The so-called partnerships frequently had conditions attached, unmet local demands in economic policy, military support that was more symbolic than practical, and a condescending demeanor that threatened local sovereignty. Russia, on the other hand, has positioned itself as a partner that recognizes and honors Burkina Faso's sovereignty. Burkina Faso has the chance to observe firsthand Russia's military technological and tactical achievements at the Army Forum 2024. Minister Koulibaly underlined how critical it is to draw lessons from Russia's past, especially in fields where Western assistance has historically fallen short. This entails practical instruction, availability of contemporary military hardware, 
and a joint dedication to tackling the particular obstacles Burkina Faso encounters in its counterinsurgency campaign. Furthermore, Burkina Faso's shift toward Russia implies a rejection of a universal strategy for handling international affairs. Under the pretext of aid and collaboration, the West has frequently imposed conditions on African countries. However, Burkina Faso is taking a different approach, controlling its own narrative and making decisions that serve its interests rather than those of foreign powers. Rejecting Western influence alone is not the only reason for the desire to deepen relations with Russia. But a calculated step in the direction of building a varied network of relationships that better suit the objectives and ambitions of the country. This change is also largely driven by the mounting dissatisfaction with the West's erratic policies and their lack of noticeable progress. For a considerable amount of time, Burkina Faso has been leading the battle against insurgencies in the Sahel, although it has frequently encountered insufficient assistance from its Western partners. Frequently, the West has prioritized keeping a presence above, offering significant assistance or equipment. A distinct strategy is provided by the cooperation with Russia, which is centered on training, real-world assistance, and common strategic objectives. Moreover, the government of Burkina Faso understands the value of diversity in its approach to foreign policy. It is dangerous to rely just on one ally or group of allies in a world where geopolitical factors are ever-changing. Burkina Faso may better manage international politics and have many sources of assistance by establishing a partnership with Russia. There is more to this diversification strategy than merely improving security. Acquiring technological and economic advantages that can advance the nation is also important. Now that this new alliance is in place, an important query arises. What advantages does Russia possess that its partners in the West do not? Burkina Faso has been fighting insurgencies for a long time because extremist organizations are a constant threat to the country's security. Burkina Faso was dependent on Western allies, especially France, for assistance for a long time. The outcomes, nevertheless, were far from ideal. Extremist attacks persisted unabatedly in Burkina Faso despite the presence of French troops and military assistance, which left the country's populace feeling deeply frustrated and betrayed by their supposed allies. On the other hand, Russia presents a more realistic strategy. Burkina Faso is obtaining access to cutting-edge military equipment and training that is customized to meet their unique requirements by cooperating with Russia. Direct communication with Russian military professionals was made possible via the Army Forum 2024, where new counterinsurgency tactics were revealed and hands-on training was imparted. This type of support goes beyond words. It involves providing Burkina Faso's forces with the resources and expertise necessary to successfully battle insurgencies on the ground. Russia's strategy also highlights Burkina Faso's independence in managing its security issues. In contrast to the paternalistic nature of Western alliances, Russia regards Burkina Faso as an equal partner. The mutual respect and alignment of interests establish a more effective foundation for cooperation in insurgent operations. Not only does Burkina Faso get aid, but it also actively participates in determining its security policies. Furthermore, the military philosophy of Russia, which prioritizes flexibility and durability, fits perfectly with Burkina Faso's present security requirements. Because of their extreme mobility and use of guerrilla tactics, Extremist groups in the Sahel are challenging to defeat using traditional military techniques. The Russian strategy, refined in multiple combat zones, provides new insights and strategies more appropriate for this type of asymmetric warfare. The goal is to enable local troops to take the initiative and destroy extremist organizations by utilizing a combination of cutting-edge technologies and specialized knowledge. Burkina Faso's military-industrial capabilities are also being developed thanks to the Russian alliance. By cultivating ties with Russia, Burkina Faso may upgrade its defense technologies in addition to importing cutting-edge weapons. 
This transition from reliance to independence is essential in an area where security risks are constantly changing. It goes beyond merely waging the wars of the day. It's about developing the ability to react autonomously to dangers in the future. It is impossible to overlook the effect Burkina Faso's strengthening military might, with Russian assistance, is having on its ties with France, its erstwhile colonial overlord. This brings up the following query. What effect does Burkina Faso's diplomatic realignment with Russia have with France and other Western countries? Burkina Faso's shift toward Russia is a major break from its historical ties to France, a long-standing friend and former colonial master. France has been a major player in West Africa for many years, frequently providing security guarantees for its former colonies. But more and more, this relationship is seen as a holdover from a past that many African countries, Burkina Faso included, are keen to put behind them. It is evident from Minister Koulibaly's remarks that Burkina Faso is reassessing its foreign policy priorities. There is more to the discontent with France than just politics. But firmly anchored in the realities of the Burkina Bay people, who have benefited little from French military assistance and presence, the rhetoric of cooperation and support frequently failed to materialize into substantive on-the-ground activity. The sovereignty and security of Burkina Faso were not as much as the interests of France, which was why French forces were viewed as such. Burkina Faso is making a strong statement by looking toward Russia. It will no longer put its interests last in a collaboration and accept a subservient role. This action fits into a larger pattern in Africa where nations are re-evaluating existing ties and looking for new allies that are open to mutually beneficial engagement. It's about forming alliances that uphold their right to self-govern and provide unconditional support for their development objectives. This realignment is a strategic realignment of Burkina Faso's foreign policy, not just a jab at France. It shows a determination to lessen reliance on any one power and broaden its coalitions. This change may inspire other African countries to investigate comparable options, which could result in a more multipolar and balanced international environment. Moreover, Burkina Faso's break with France reflects a wider discontent with Western policy in the continent. A rising number of African countries are tired of being regarded like second-class participants in international politics, and they want ties based on respect and common interests. Burkina Faso is establishing itself as a leader in this new drive toward African independence and self-determination by strengthening its ties with Russia. There are important ramifications for France and other Western countries. The traditional Western powers' influence in Africa may wane as more African nations look to diversify their ties. This would need reconsidering Western approaches to Africa, which might result in more equal and advantageous partnerships. But it also presents a problem. Will the West be able to adjust to this new reality, or will it keep holding on to antiquated engagement approaches that are ineffective for advancing African interests? It might be wise to leave the West since they might not be able to adapt. What does this indicate for Africa's future on the international scene, namely in terms of new geopolitical alliances and the continent's strategic orientation. Given that Burkina Faso is spearheading the initiative to redefine its international relationships, Burkina Faso's turn toward Russia goes beyond a simple bilateral decision. It might indicate a change in Africa's geopolitical approach. The decision to move away from traditional Western alliances towards more varied foreign ties might have far-reaching ramifications for the continent. This is especially important as African countries are trying more and more to stand up for themselves internationally and form alliances that align with their goals and ideals. Africa faces a pivotal moment. Given its youthful population and wealth of resources, there is a lot of room for expansion and improvement. But it has been viewed for far too long as nothing more than a playground for superpowers. The choice of Burkina Faso to collaborate with Russia may prompt other African countries to re-evaluate their foreign policy. It involves looking outside of the conventional Western realm, 
and investigating collaborations that provide respect and mutual gain in addition to financial assistance. Moreover, this action may result in a more varied group of coalitions around the continent. Africa may lessen its dependency on any one superpower by welcoming partners like Russia, who are prepared to participate in fair and advantageous partnerships. This diversification would promote a more impartial approach to international diplomacy and strengthen Africa's negotiating position. The strategic change made by Burkina Faso is also consistent with the African Union's objectives of advancing stability, security, and peace throughout the continent. African nations could strengthen their collective bargaining power and guarantee that their interests are better represented on the international scene if they adopted a more cohesive approach to international affairs in which they work together and encourage one another to form new alliances. This transition may also result in more collaboration between African countries in other domains, like technological transfer, cultural exchange, and economic development. African nations may establish a more resilient and integrated continent that is more able to bear external pressures and problems by forming a network of varied alliances. Furthermore, the possibility of a more extensive realignment of geopolitics offers Africa a chance to reinterpret its place in the world. Africa has the opportunity to establish itself as a key player in international politics, as opposed to being perceived as an area in need of assistance and involvement. This would necessitate a mental adjustment. Acknowledging Africa's agency and potential as a global leader in international relations, both inside the continent and among its allies abroad. The question now is whether Burkina Faso's shift toward Russia will spark a wave of new coalitions throughout Africa. It's possible that Burkina Faso's move to support Russia could spur more African unification and regional security. Burkina Faso is not only changing its security approach, but also setting an example for the continent by opting to work with an unconventional partner. This action promotes a more self-reliant and proactive approach to international relations, which may strengthen ties between African countries. Burkina Faso's example might greatly improve continental efforts at collective security if more nations take it up. African countries have long understood how important it is to cooperate in order to handle common issues. From war and insurgencies to economic growth and environmental degradation, these initiatives might be strengthened by taking a more varied approach to international relations, which would open up new possibilities for cooperation and information exchange. Furthermore, Burkina Faso's tactical change may spur new efforts to unite Africa. African countries may create more robust and resilient alliances by forming partnerships that uphold sovereignty and put the interests of both parties first. In a world where the balance of power is always changing, Africa needs to remain united in order to face these changes head-on and with clarity. Furthermore, the pan-African principles of solidarity and self-determination are in line with this realignment. It serves as further evidence that Africa is prepared to unite, pay its own course, and form alliances that will genuinely benefit its people. This might result in an approach to international relations that is more strategic and coordinated, wherein African nations aid one another in accomplishing their shared goals. Still, for this vision of unity and collective security to be realized, more than just new relationships will be needed. It will call for a dedication to resolving internal conflicts and fostering confidence among African countries. Though historical rivalries and disputes have frequently weakened attempts at unification, Burkina Faso's history demonstrates that it is feasible to put shared objectives ahead of personal interests. African countries may present a more formidable and cohesive image on the international scene by concentrating on their common issues and advantages. Additionally, by moving toward collective security, Africa may be better equipped to handle other pressing problems like infrastructure development, technological innovation, and economic growth. Through cooperation and the pooling of their resources and knowledge, African countries can build a more prosperous and independent continent. 
that is more suited to fulfill the demands of its citizens. Therefore, Burkina Faso's choice to turn its focus to Russia goes beyond a simple shift in diplomatic ties. It signifies a significant change in the continent's perspective on foreign affairs. Burkina Faso is leading by example for the rest of Africa by eschewing traditional Western alliances and forming a cooperation with Russia. It serves as a reminder that African countries are free to forge coalitions that uphold their sovereignty, follow their own routes, and shape their own futures. Do you think things can be changed using this Burkina Faso's approach? Do new allies have a higher importance than the West? Tell us what you think in the comments section below. We explore the rich history, culture, and the ongoing struggle for sovereignty in Africa. Join us in this important conversation by subscribing to our channel. By subscribing, you're not just staying informed, you're becoming part of a movement dedicated to reclaiming Africa's rightful place on the global stage. Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss an episode. Let's work together to spread knowledge and inspire change. Thanks for watching.